video, I'll show you how to create a new background. So first I have to save my program to project. To save, we have to click on file and click on save to your computer and it will be saved. Next, I have to create a new program. To create a new program, we have to click on file and new. And that's it, a new project is created. So I want to name this project Backdrops. So Backdrops are nothing but backgrounds. So now let me delete this part. To delete this part, we have to click on delete button. So we are going to paint our new background. So to paint, you have to click on choose a backdrop button and here, can you see paint option? You have to click on it. And the costumes tab will open. So here can you see backdrop 1 and backdrop 2 are there because backdrop 1 is our white background which is previously already there and the backdrop 2 is what we create now. So I'm deleting the backdrop 2 and now I'll draw in the backdrop 1. So So let me draw some, let me draw a uh, garden. So to draw, you have to click on rectangle and draw a big rectangle like this. So but this rectangle is in violet color. I don't want it to be in violet color, so I'm going to select it and go to fill option and select green color. Huh, this one. See now it is green. But can you see here the borders are black? I don't want the borders to be black, but I want them to be green. So have to click again on the part which you want to change the color. Then you have to go to outline option and here you have to select green color. Here we go. So next, I'm going to draw three flower plants. So to draw them, you have to go to line option. Then, I don't want the color of the line to be light green, but I want to, but I want it to be dark green color. Like this one. And the broadness of the line should not be Four. I want it to be 25 because, because it will be like, it will look like a stem. Here we go. So now I'm going to draw a small line like this. And I want to draw the branches. So I want the width of the branches to be 20. Okay, so now I'm going to draw the first branch and the second branch. Okay, now I have to draw the leaves. To draw the leaves, you have to click on circle. And I want the color of the circle to be green color light green color and even the outline also should be light green color 
Okay. So now let me draw a small circle like this. But the shape of the leaf will not be a circle, right? So what should we do? Yes, we should select the circle and click on reshape tool. So you can drag it to the shape of a leaf like this egg shape. So now I'm going to keep it here. Okay. I don't want to draw the same leaf again. So what should I do? Yes, you should duplicate it. So to duplicate, you have to select the part and copy and paste. That's it. Another leaf is duplicated. So now I'm going to drag it to another branch. But it's I don't want this leaf to be in this direction. I want it to be in another direction. So what should I do? Yes. Select the part and click on flip horizontal. And that's it. You can drag it to the branch like this. Now we have to make the flower. To make the flower, you have to click on circle tool and I'm going to select yellow color. Even the outline should also be yellow color. Like this. Okay. So I'm drawing a small circle like this. And next, I have to draw the petals. To draw the petals, you have to click on circle tool and you have to select pink color. I'm going to draw a small circle like this one and I have to select it and click on reshape to make it look like a petal. Like this. So I want five petals. So then I have to duplicate it five times. Copy and paste. So there are five petals ready. So now I'm going to place them in an order. Ta-da! A flower plant is ready. So now in the beginning I said I want to make three flower plants. So to make them you have to select the whole flower plant and you have to click on copy and paste. That's it. Another flower plant is ready. And our costume one of the background is ready. So now I want to make another costume. So how to create Another costume, yes, we have to duplicate it. We have to click on the costume and click on duplicate. That's it. Another costume is duplicated. Now I want to make little changes to the costume too. Let's add clouds. Okay. So does it look like a cloud? Yes. So now three clouds are ready. Now I want to make another costume. See, now does it look like it's raining? Yes. So all the three costumes
classrooms are ready. So in the further videos, I'll come up with more exciting ideas to learn scratch with me. Until then, bye-bye.